dividing an amount in a ratio. So for example, divide $60 in the ratio 2 to 3. This is like you've got two people, this person and this person. This person gets two parts and this person gets three parts. And we've got to share the $60 like that. There's a couple of different ways of doing it, but this way works quite well. Look for the fraction out of the total number of parts that each person will get. So we add up the parts, and that's 2 plus 3. There's five parts that we've got to split this $60 into. Let's write the ratio as a fraction. This person gets 2 out of 5, 2 fifths, and this person gets 3 fifths. So the ratio 2 to 3 is out of a total of 5 parts. This part means 2 parts out of 5. This means 3 parts out of 5. And we've got to divide $60. So one person gets 2 fifths and one person gets 3 fifths. And we know how to find a fraction of amount, of an amount, sorry. Find fractions of the amounts. Sorry about my writing today. So remember, two fifths of $60. We write fraction of the amount. And that will be two fifths of becomes times and 60. Use your calculator. Two fifths of becomes times 60. This person gets $24. Three fifths of 60. Write the fraction. Write the of as times. Write the amount. Do the calculation. Three fifths of 60. This person gets $36. So that's the fractions method of dividing an amount into a ratio. You work out what the total is by adding the parts and write the ratio as a fraction out of that. And then you just find that fraction of the amount. There is another method. You can use either method. It's absolutely fine. We'll use this question. Divide 12 lollies between Tim and Tina in the ratio 1 to 2. Now, if we know who this is going to, we write this is Tim to Tina. The ratio is 1 to 2. Now, we still add up the parts. There's three parts. So what that means is, out of those 12 lollies, if I split those into three parts, Tim gets one part and Tina gets two parts. So we find the amount that is one part, which is the total divided by the number of parts. So one part is 12 lollies divided by three parts. So four lollies is one part. Tim gets one part. So Tim gets four lollies. Tina gets two parts. So Tina gets two lots of four, eight lollies. Because it's a word question, word answer. Tim gets four lollies and Tina, sorry, capital gets eight lollies. Now either method is fine for each question. So if I go back to this question, I could say that's five parts. 60 divided by five means that one part is $12. Two parts would be $24. Three parts would be three lots of 12, which is 36. I could have done this one is the fractions method. 
there's three parts. So Tim would get one third of 12. A third of 12 is four. And Tina would get two thirds of 12. Two divided by three times 12 is eight. So either method works. I don't mind which you use. Some people might prefer to do fractions. Some people might prefer to find the value of one part. That's the unitary method.